possible way with a performance by one of the greatest duos in the history of entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, the incomparable Penn and Teller. Thank you, thank you. Um, we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do some illegal stuff for you. We're gonna get a little bit illegal. <laughs> and we need to borrow a banknote from someone, a, a bill. Now, a lot of magicians try to borrow a hundred or a 50 or a 20 to make their tricks seem more important. But all we need is a single, a one single dollar bill. We're never gonna take it from you. I'm gonna buy it from you. If you have nothing, nothing to risk at all, I'll buy a dollar bill from somebody. Anybody have a dollar bill in the audience? Okay, somebody there? And uh, do you have a dollar bill? You're right close. Come on up here, please, right up here. Yeah. And uh, bring your dollar bill up here. And what is your name, our newest friend? Christian. Hello, Christian. My name is Penn. Nice to meet you guys. See your, your bill here? Just stand over here next to me. And I'm going to take uh, your bill, and I'm going to give you my bill and kiss it goodbye. And I'm going to kind of roll this up on the inside so that that's where my spit is and keep that away from your nose and mouth. You don't know what kind of vector I am, okay? <laughs> now, uh, Christian, I'm going to have you... Um, uh, know the serial number. Serial number is really important in this trick. So I'm just going to rip the bill. Now, this is still legal. Still, I'm trying to be very careful that I don't rip too much of it because it's still legal tender if you have more than half. So I'm going to have more than half here. Uh, it's really fun to rip a dollar bill. If you want to rip a little bit, you want to get the final bit that you just rip it off there. There we go. Now, just uh, you've got the serial number there. And now I bought this bill from you. This was your bill. Now it's mine. And Christian, I'm going to do something illegal. It always perplexed me why this was illegal, because destroying money just means that uh, everybody else's money is worth just a little bit more, but it is illegal. And I want to tell you, Christian, uh, this theater we're in now, Penn and Teller, has my name in it. The show, Penn and Teller, Fool Us, my name in it. Side of the building, 300 feet tall, my picture. I'm doing very well, Christian, very well, which means money means nothing to me. I'm gonna destroy, look at this. I'm just destroying money right in front of you. To me, it's just green confetti. I don't care. That bill that was yours that I bought from you, I have now destroyed, except for that serial number you have there. But you know, Tell and I have been working together 45 years. And there's a little bit of rivalry. When I do something, Tell and wants to do it more. So Tell is gonna do something way more illegal. Because he has something in there that it's illegal to possess. And that is treasury paper. This is the paper that bills are printed on. It's made by the Crane Paper Company in Massachusetts. And they've been making it since before there was the United States. Because they made it during the Revolutionary War. Now, if you examine that, you'll see it does not feel like regular paper. It feels like a bill because it is 75% cotton, 24% linen. It's called rag paper. Not know how good your eyes are, but hold up to the light. I can't see this. Maybe you can. You'll be able to see little tiny, tiny threads of red, blue, and metallic. You see that there? That makes it harder to counterfeit. Now, possessing that is illegal. But Tell is going to go a step further. I destroyed a dollar bill in a felony, but Tell is going to risk a $250,000 fine and 20 years in prison to do something really stupid. He is counterfeiting a $1 bill, Christian. A $1 bill. And not even the complete $1 bill. There's one part he didn't bother with. That part right there that's kind of vaguely shaped like what you have there, Christian. You have your serial number right there, and we're going to check this. There's the serial number. We're going to see if it matches the serial number on this bill. So very loudly, Christian, read out the serial number, please. L091723288. r Yes, perfect. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, after all these years, all these years of Penn and Teller, you think we bluff? You think we bluff? There's a serial number right there. Now there's your piece. Now yours looks like you've been carrying it around in the bottom of your shoe. This one's brand new. This one's old and disgusting. But you watch. Look at the serial numbers. The serial numbers match. But more important than that, watch good old George's face go right back together perfectly. That matches exactly right there. And the serial numbers. Tell her, nice job. Christian, you can keep this, but promise me you'll destroy it before you leave the casino, because possessing counterfeit money, that's a felony, Christian. That's a felony. <laughs> that's a felony. Wow. Tell her, 
just committed a crime, so we got to go before the FBI gets here. We'll be back next week with the heat flows on.